too little or too much nitrogen affects the livelihoods of smallholder producers, the ecosystem and ultimately climate change. This is the crucial issue that agriculturalists and environmentalists will discuss at the week-long international conference that opened Monday in Kampala. The water is polluted and you're saying this nitrogen is contributing towards that. How are we going to put our acts together and ensure this is avoided? Then the second area is the aspects and reduction of nitrous oxide emission. A greenhouse gas that is more than 300 times more potent than carbon dioxide with long warming effect in the climate change phenomenon. The dilemma is that farmers may shy away from the use of fertilizers with nitrogen content, yet they are essential in boosting production. Kamayobi Bregea, the commissioner in the Ministry of Agriculture, suggests that there should be a deliberate strategy to sustain farmers. Crop production is now about 30% of what should be uh, because of low soil fertility levels. It's against this that the government is now taking deliberate actions to reverse the trend of declining soil fertility and promote the use of fertilizer. There's a common theme, and the common theme is whether you have too much nitrogen and you're losing and having pollution everywhere, or you have too little and you're not getting the benefits you need for the crops, crop yields, by finding ways to manage the nitrogen better reducing the losses to the environment, we are getting that double benefit. Research shows that the depletion of nitrogen from the soil does not only result in poor harvests, but is also the cause of water pollution, giving a chance to aquatic weeds like the water hyacinth to flourish, hence affecting fish production.